Welcome to Mr. Smith's Instrumental Instruction Podcast. Today, I will teach you how to assemble and hold the French horn. We will begin by opening the French horn case. The case should always be flat on the floor before opening it. Some students will try and open the case on their lap and accidentally drop the case and instrument onto the floor. You should also make sure that the case is right side up before opening it. You can be sure the case is right side up by lifting the latch to open it. If when you go to open the French horn case, you push the latch down, the case is upside down and the instrument can fall out onto the floor. Inside the French horn case, you will find two pieces, the French horn and the mouthpiece. Assembling the French horn is very easy. Simply take the mouthpiece and place it in the lead pipe of the French horn. Next, give the mouthpiece a gentle twist to the right. You should never take your hand and hit the top of the mouthpiece. While it makes a fun sound, you are hammering that mouthpiece into the lead pipe and it will become stuck. Next, I will teach you to hold the French horn using your left hand. Begin by placing your left thumb in the hook. Next, place your pointer finger on the first valve, middle finger on the second valve, and ring finger on the third valve. Finally, place your pinky in the pinky hook. This is your left hand. Lastly, I will teach you to place your right hand into the French horn bell. Begin by cupping your right hand as if you were scooping up a handful of water. Place that right hand position inside the bottom of the bell. This extends the sound coming from the French horn bell up your right arm. This is your right hand placement. The beginning French hornist should practice assembling and holding the French horn for one to two minutes every day. This completes our French horn lesson on assembling and holding the French horn.